Welcome back to more Over the Nexus, everybody. So in the last episode, or the last two episodes, we had some rental deck issues, and I was losing my mind, losing my sanity, but now that we get to use our own deck again, I feel a lot more confident that, you know what, we're going to be able to do this. We can do this. Um, I'm going to go... The fuck? Oh yeah, I guess I'll start by going this way, sure. Let's do this, because um, one thing that um, is going to be very helpful to do right now is to actually come back here and talk to I think it's is it you no actually I don't think it's you whoops no it's it's you yep dual puzzle so I'm sure you remember this but um there's actually five dual puzzles again you don't have to do these four and five but you do get some bonus dp which I mean hey you know that's actually helpful right so I'm gonna do it I'm totally gonna do it because you know what I want the DP. Also because, like, again, you do get a, um, like, a, an actual reward by a booster pack once you complete all ten dual puzzles in the game. Five here and five later. Anyway, wait, did I just... Oh, I was like... I thought I selected the first one again because I saw three marshmallows again. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Okay. Let's see here. So... Oh, man. What was this crazy? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, believe it or not, this card actually has use in this scenario. Usually a really horrible card, fine, but you know what? I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to do this, but I'm also going to go ahead and use Maturia Rock. When the trap is activated, you can send the top card of your deck to the giver to special summon this card from your hand. So let's do this, okay? Alright, and I'm going to, um, well, I'll just put you like that, sure. Okay. And I'm going to discard, I have to discard two cards actually, and I'm going to discard Spore and I think Bamboo Shoot. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Next up, I'm going to activate Supervise. Supervise. Okay. And basically, equip only, it is treated as an effect monster, it gains it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use you. Now I'm going to, actually, no, what am I doing? There we go. I'm going to do this now, use Giga Plant's effect. And I can special summon a plant type monster. I'm gonna go ahead and use Bamboo Shoot. So I'm gonna put you. All right, so now I'm gonna come over here and activate. No, I have Spore. No, I don't wanna do that yet, no, screw that. I'm gonna actually go to Genix Ally Birdman. Let's do that next. So basically, you can return to face a monster, and special summon. Okay, so if I end up switching you with... Would that work? Yeah, that would work. That would totally work. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna send... It, it should be Bamboo Shoe from what I remember. We're gonna do that. And I get to special summon my Birdman. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Tribute Summon. But I'm gonna Tribute the Naturia Rock. You wanna make sure to Tribute a Naturia Monster to get the effect of Naturia Bamboo Shoot to go off. Okay. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to activate uh, my card here, Spore. You can banish uh, one other plant type. I'm gonna do Spore. And I have to banish my Curse Fig. Um, I don't think it really matters. That's fine. Okay. Then I'm gonna head over here. No, not here. Here. I'm gonna choose Red Dragon Archfiend. And I'm going to actually choose uh, Spore and Giga Plant. Alright. And now I get to use the effect of Supervise to bring Giga Plant back in here. Oh yeah, that's some great Gemini support there. Man. And I think I'm good now. Um, I'm gonna enter battle phase now. I'm going to start by attacking with Dread Dragon Archfiend, actually. So this will not destroy Marshmallow, but it will destroy them all with the effect. See? And now I'm good. If you don't bring um, Bamboo Shoot with the Tribute Summon effect, you're gonna get annihilated. I'm just telling you, those back row cards are gonna be ridiculous. So make sure that you actually Tribute Summon Bamboo Shoot. It is going to be incredibly helpful to do so. And there we go, that's it. 
Simple as that. Super simple. So that's the fourth puzzle down. Now we only have one puzzle left to complete. Which is honestly amazing. Amazing stuff. Yep. Let's do it. Let's go to dual puzzle. Number five. And we're gonna do this. Alright, so this one here. Oh my god, they have 24,800 light points. Are you seeing this? Oh my god. Alright, so I'm actually gonna start by activating Aegis of Gaia, okay? Uh, no. So I gain 3,000. Okay, I'm then going to go ahead and summon Gildagra. I will use the effect, sure. And I am going to send... Um, well no, don't change now. I'm gonna send a Shooting Star Dragon into the graveyard. Okay. Now I'm gonna do Miracle Synchro Fusion. Not gonna do that, no. Okay, so I have this thing, Dragon Knight, uh, Dragon Knight Draco Equist. Equiste, whatever, okay. So with this, um, Geno, what the fuck? Geno Grenard of the Ice Barrier, okay. Interesting. Well, anyway, um, yeah, no, I was just, I was like, what the heck, wait, I didn't think that card was there, but alright. <laughs> Never mind. For some reason, I thought it was another car that was on the field. I don't, I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but... Alright, so I'm gonna bring you out, okay? So this thing says, can only be special summoned by fusion summon from the extra deck. Once per turn, you... Hold on... Okay. Once per turn, you can select one dragon-type synchro monster in the graveyard. Remove it from play. Treat this card's name as that, okay, whatever, at the end, until the end phase. Well, this card is in phase of attack position. Any effect damage you would take from an opponent's card effect is inflicted to your opponent instead. This is going to be the key here. This is going to be the key, alright? Anyway, next up, I'm going to go ahead and activate Barrel from a different dimension here. And I'm going to choose... I can choose up to three monsters here. So I'm going to choose a uh, Scrap Beast. I think I'm going to actually need... No, I don't think I need you. I need Scrap Goblin plus Shooting Star Dragon. Let's do that. Okay, do I get to... Nope, no, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, send those. And then now you take 1,000 damage. Now you're down to 22,800. I'm going to activate this effect to basically select Shooting Star Dragon. Okay. So now I get all the effects. I am going to end that chain right there. I don't need to do that. Okay, so now it's banished again. Um, so I have sold up here. Um, I guess I could. No, I'll just. Wait. Pot of that. Okay. Pot of benevolence. I select two cards from the graveyard and shuffle them into the owner's decks. After activation, remove this card from play. And instead of sending it to the graveyard, you can only. Okay, got it. So I'm going to activate Pot of Benevolence. So I get to choose two cards. I'm actually going to choose both of the monsters here and send them both back to the deck. I don't think I need a chain here, I'm pretty sure I don't. Alright, you know what, I'll just go ahead and activate Soul of the Pier now. Might as well. Alright, let's do that. Soul of the Pier. So now I'm going to gain 800 life points. Okay. So now, the new effect of... I guess I should quickly show you, but basically... Each of these can be activated once per turn. Reveal a top 5 card, shuffle them, okay, and this card's maximum number of attacks is equal to the number of tuner monsters revealed. I can also negate, and I can... Okay, who cares about the last? Whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate the new effect here. And I am not going to chain, no. So if I take a look at these 5 cards... I literally have five tuners, which means that this card can literally attack five times this turn. That is going to be insane. And now I'm going to do Emergency Teleport. And I'm going to choose my Psychic Commander. Now that I have 1100 life points, uh, what I'm actually going to do here... 
is activate instant fusion, so I can pay a thousand, and I can bring Flower Wolf. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna come over here now. No, not that. I'm gonna do this. Scrap Dragon says one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. So if I basically wait a minute, once per turn you can select one card you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them. When this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna choose Psychic Commander and Flower Wolf, and I'm gonna put you here. Now I get to use the effect of Scrap Dragon, so I'm actually gonna destroy. Uh, now, you can't destroy Aegis of Gaia, because if you do that, you lose. You don't want to destroy these two powerful ones, so the only option left is Gildagra. So I'm going to get rid of Gildagra, and I'm also going to get rid of your Gravity Bind. And... why is it... oh no, no, no. Don't do that. That's fine. Okay, this here should actually put me in the clear for winning the duel. If I did the math right, it should be enough. I'll attack once with you to put you down to exactly 16,000. And now if I attack... Five times, that's 32, 32, 32, yeah, that should be exactly 16, because 3,000 times 5 is 15,000, plus the extra 200 per, I think I'm good. Pretty sure I'm good here. Man, that is actually a ridiculously difficult one to pull off. Um, you really have to think it through, or you can just use an online walkthrough as well, that helps. Or you can just watch a YouTube video, like what you're doing now, you know? Perfectly fine. But yeah, it's really difficult, um, because, man, is it a series of long, long chains. It really is. Okay, but clearing this one, and that's me. Is it a thousand? I think it's like a thousand. Oh my god. That's like amazing. Okay. I can make my own. You can edit. Yeah, I already know what. I'm not gonna do that though. No, no, no. Shut up. Okay. So, by the way, both of these duelists should already come up to one, right? One victory. Yeah. Okay. So, if a duel is story based, it still counts towards the duel statistics, which is honestly a good thing. It eases the grinding a tad bit. Not that it helps a lot. I mean, you still have to do so much dueling in these games. It's ridiculous. All right. So. Um, I'm actually going to buy more cards, believe it or not. Now that I got some more points, I'm literally going to spend all that on just Dark Beginning Wine. I better get an MST or Call of the Haunted or a Dark Hole or a Torrential Tribute. Literally all these cards are in here and I didn't get shit. Okay. I'll do that. Please get something good. I mean, Mage Power is not bad, I suppose. That card's banned. Uh, Mage Power, Mega Morph, okay. Magical Hats, Magic Sword Beast. Tribute to the Doom, Morphing Jar, Tuna, Tribute to Doom, Jar. Oh my god, dude. I haven't gotten shit yet. This is ridiculous. I literally haven't gotten anything. I mean, I can add mage power, but like, what the hell, dude? I can't believe the, the luck I'm getting in this series right now. This is horrible. I just spent now, what, 3,800 plus another... Oh my god, I spent nearly 5,000 to pee and all I've gotten is a Swords of Revealing Light and a Fissure. And I guess a Mage Power, which is honestly not that amazing compared to other stuff. This is, this is some of the worst um, card shop luck I've ever had in all my Let's Plays. Ever in my channel. Oh my god, this is really bad. This is horrible. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to work with what I got though, sadly. I was really hoping I would get something good. But I didn't. I'm gonna put this here, and I, technically speaking, it can be potentially better than Axe of Despair. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that. But things are not looking good for me, I'll just be honest. Luckily, we're still closer to the beginning of the game. So, the duels are not gonna be hard. Which is good. It's definitely a good thing, right? It'll make things a little bit easier, it'll ease things up, but I'm, I'm really afraid that in the next bulk purchase that I do, I better get something, man. I need to get Call of the Haunted or Dark Hole or Torrential Tribute or at least one MST, but I need two of those. 
Just something, man. I need something. Because I'm dying over here. Alright, so here I'm going to trigger a cutscene. Who the hell is this guy? Hey, you from around here? Where's the car shop? Oh, you're entering the tournament. Yeah. And you fill in for me? Okay, that's it. You and me. Let's duel. We'll see who should have been in that tournament. What? Dude? Okay, fine. Whatever. You are... You and your stupid logic, man. Seriously. What? How dare you fill in this tournament that I was clearly late to? This is all your fault, Shiny. What? People are so stupid in this game. With their logic. Okay. So... I'm gonna draw. Oh my god, did I really just get three tribute monsters? See, this is why I don't want to have three tribute monsters. I want to have two. Because there's a, there's a chance. I mean, in real life, the chance of drawing your three tribute monsters out of three... It's really low, but because it's a video game, specifically a World Championship video game, there's actually a pretty high chance that that can happen, because they purposely want to screw you over. Alright, so I'm going to end the turn. That's why I should go to two, that way the worst that can happen is, you know, start with two, which is not horrible. You still have three cards to work with. Well, four, including your draw. Rocket Warrior. Okay, well I don't get destroyed, right? I mean, you lower my attack by 500, but I don't think, yeah. So, you know, there's no point in doing that then. Okay. Um, I'm gonna activate this effect. I'm gonna discard Monster Reincarnation to destroy that. MST, okay. And I'm gonna summon a Garnet. I'm not gonna tribute yet, but next turn I'm, I will probably end up tribute summoning something. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll figure it out. Alright, so that's a Rocket Warrior being destroyed. And then for the next attack, I'll go ahead and do this. Minus 18. And turn. Okay, what are you doing? Let's see here. Setting. You are setting. And setting that. Okay, I need Mobius. I think I need Mobius. That could be very dangerous. Then again, I mean, what if I just should just use the damn. Oh my god. Mmm. I have a better idea, actually. I'm gonna activate its effect. Let me discard swords. Let's get rid of that. And then. Oh, you use Gemini's, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring in Zaborg, actually. I'm gonna tribute Garnet. I'd rather keep the effect of Kyra on the Mage. So Zaborg, you get to destroy a monster. I'm gonna choose that. What is that? Good choice. Damn. Alright, so attack with Kyra on the Mage. Plus Zaborg, this puts me much closer to victory now. Minus 18 and then minus 24. Now you're down to 16 and a turn. Alright, so next turn. I think I'm good. Man, do you see how easy these duels are now compared to those stupid rental deck duels? God. That's crazy. Those things are crazy, man. Setting, and that's it. Okay. Um. Well, I guess it's time for Mobius. I believe so. I'm gonna tribute you, Mobius, to destroy the back row. Better not be a freaking effect, though, that can trigger on the summon. Okay, it's not. Unleash your power, okay. Enter battle phase and hope that this works. If this works, then I'm good. And... What was that? What is this effect again? Oh, you can banish two light monsters to destroy one base up uh, with the hot. Okay, got it. Alright, and that right there is the duel. So I beat this guy fairly easily. You win. Yes, I did. I won.
651. Let's think getting some DP so I can buy some stuff, man. Giving me something? What are you giving me? You are giving me... Soul Taker, that's pretty good, but I already have three fissures, so I don't think I need to use that, but if you do need some single target removal, that's going to be your ideal card right there. Alright, um... Basically done here, so I'm just gonna... Go back in my place. Oh, hello there. Klaus. Klaus. I think it's Klaus, actually. Free time tomorrow? You're going to satellite? Got it. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. Screw this day. Wait, how do I go to bed? What? Do I have to figure out how to go to sleep? Oh, pfft. It's, um, dude. Okay, fine, whatever. Pick your battles, right? Pick your battles. Chapter 2, the encounter. Team satisfaction. Yeah, we're already in chapter 2. Can you believe it? This is crazy. This is only, what, episode 5? Okay. Yes, I got everything. Shiny. Hello, Toru. Hey, you know me. <laughs> yeah, this guy's full of energy, apparently. Okay. Dual runner parts. Here's the list of parts I need and the money. Okay. Toru's parts note. You receive money for parts. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Alright then. Um, so... Now we're here in this new place, as you can see. I'm glad we got here in one piece. You can buy the dual runner parts that Tor requested, right? Okay. Got it. Wait, can I go back to Crash Town? I hope I can. Like, dude. The road is blocked with junk. So I'm sure you remember this place, but um... It's all gonna... Oh man. What the hell? Oh, there's a save point right there. Who's this little girl? Hey, you over there. Come over here. Uh... Crow? Crow's gone missing. To oh, oh, so you were missing. Got it. Okay, wait. Can I leave, though? I want to test something. Can I actually leave? I don't think I can, right? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Maybe I could have before that cutscene, but... Oh, well. Anyway, um, I'm actually not going to proceed anymore right now, but instead I'm going to, now that I saved, I'm going to go back into World Championship mode. Or f Free Duel, I should, I should, oh my god, so much stuff just happened. What the heck? Alright, Free Duel mode. So, I believe we unlocked some stuff here. What the heck? Aaron, Lightsword, Monk. Legendary, so I actually made a list, but the thing is, well, first of all, let me see, ooh, okay, let me see if I can actually pull it up here, because I literally did make a really good, well-detailed list, um, from, from, like, all the unlockables and stuff, but I don't think I actually have it here available, in terms of what the heck you need to do, oh, shoot, sorry, my list just popped up on the, oh my god, okay, I'm quitting that, <laughs> never mind, okay, you know what, screw this. I was going to pull it up on my computer so I can actually see, because these two we don't start with, and I totally forgot what you do to unlock these two. I'll explain all that later, but I'm only going to do a starting six anyway, which are these five plus Tiki Curse, so let's go ahead and start with Moja here, and just do one at a time. So, as you can see, now that we're in free duel mode, we're not using the whole, like, input five things fast. Uh, we're not doing that anymore. That's been retired. That method has been completely retired. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna draw. Ooh, mage power. Alright, well I'm gonna start by summoning Garnet. And I will set two. 
and end the turn. Okay. If anything, it's kind of good that they gave you a bunch of beat sticks from the beginning. At least I don't have an awful deck, man. Because there's been some other World Championship games where they give you a complete trash deck. Like, awful. Absolutely awful. And I'm just like, dude, that's like so garbage, you know? In, in this game, you know, the most garbage thing about this game is the lag for every turn. But there's unfortunately not much you can do, you know? But wait. All you can do is wait. Um... I will do Dust Tornado on one of those, might as well. I'm gonna do it on this. What was that? I'm not gonna set now. What the hell was that? Mobius? Oh, great. I didn't need to do that then. Shoot. When a monster you control destroys the opponent's monster by battle. Okay, that's fine. Um. You know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna do this. Um. Are you really gonna- oh, man, just do it, just do it. I hate to do this because I had Mobius, but if I already used Dust Tornado, I'd rather save Mobius for a situation when you have two back rows set again. To use it for the best potential, you know? Is that a hyena? Oh no, you're gonna special summon two more hyenas. Dude. Yeah, that card, once it gets disturbed by battle, um, you get to special summon two additional hyenas. Yeah, from the deck. Well, I can destroy one of these at least, but now you have something that you can work with next turn, which is kind of bad for me. Oh well, though. Whatever, that's fine. Beast Striker. Okay. Once per turn you can discard one card to special summon one Mojo from your deck. What the heck? I'm doing Trap Hole because that's a normal summon, so... Let's do that, might as well. it also protect my Chiron the Mage. But it's possible you could also... Oh no, never mind, you don't have an extra deck. I was like, you could Synchro Summon. I just realized he does not have an extra deck. What does Mojo do? I don't even know. Okay, you end up your turn. Shrink. Okay, well, it's fairly obvious, but I'm gonna go ahead and tribute some. But let me read this. Uh, you can add one level four beast type monster from your graveyard to your hand. Shit. Well, that sucks. And I don't have a third monster to do some damage. Well, damn. I'm gonna bring out Frostosaurus here. And all I can do here is attack with um, each of these, so I'm not gonna do any damage this turn, sadly. I still haven't pierced this guy's defenses. And I don't think I will next turn either, because you're going to add a card. And I'm assuming you're going to do something. You're going to pull something out of nowhere. I'm not going to set Shrink, because I could probably use that for the effect of Chiron the Mage. But I also have Mobius, so I might be fine. I don't really know, to be honest, but we'll see. We will see. Something that again, okay. Entering battle phase, I'm losing my Chiron. Damn it. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but sadly, that just happened, so. Okay, we once again didn't set any back row. Draw a monster, please. Fuck, dude. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. I mean, I can set it still, but I need to draw some monsters so I can start dishing out some damage here, you know? That's minus 750. And that's all I can do this turn, believe it or not. These turns are very... Ugh. Very disgustingly weak turns that I'm taking. I just have to draw more cards. That's the problem. I'm, I'm out of cards. This guy's still got four cards in his hand. Setting and... Any back row? No. Hmm. I honestly feel like I should write Geki Break because, man, I'm gonna write Geki Break because he might have another battle fl like effect like Moja and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that. What was that? Aha! I did. I did too smartly. Just for by battle, 
cool. So I did that right. And now I can also summon Giant Rat. Alright, well that's a good turn for me. That right there is actually 4,000 damage. 14 plus 26, which means I'm at the pace for winning next turn. Okay. And enter. Alright, take your last turn. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. Except maybe for Karibo. Yeah, I know I half murmured that, spoke really lowly, but I'm pretty sure you know what the hell I was referencing. Okay, so you set a card. Um, ooh, I can take control of that. Tribute wall monster. So like, oh no, no, I can't. Shit, it has to be face of freaking hell. Which means the duel is not over yet. I can no, I'm not gonna tribute something. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to attack with you. Okay. That thing only has 100 defense, which means I chose poorly. Dude, I can't believe I didn't draw another monster, man. Are you serious? I could have won this turn and now I'm not. Come on, man. Okay, so that's minus 1400. Uh, main phase 2, I suppose. I can set that. And turn, sure. Alright, what are you doing, man? What the hell are you doing? He's thinking. He's still thinking. He's setting. Is that really all you're gonna do, man? Oh god, now I have to go for a gamble. Please give me a level 4 lower monster, please. Shit. Are you serious? What the hell is this bullshit, man? Well, I'm gonna have to summon this because I, I can't risk it. I would attack with Giant Rat to go for the win this turn, but, um, nope, I know I'm wasting the tributing effect, but I hope this works. I really hope this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That worked, okay, I win, I win. Thank God, I was like, I'm not about, I'm not about just delaying this another five turns with swarming more special summons through battle or something. Alright, well I got this. I got it. So that's a victory right there. Uh, so this means that in the next episode I'm going to continue doing some more of these duels with these opponents and we will take it from there. Okay, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you and as always, I will see you all next time. Oh yeah, I should probably explain this. In this game, every time you beat an opponent optionally, you get to do a match game. Reward is 194 DP. If you draw one more of the same card, you will receive this card. Yeah, a lot of things have different effects. I'm gonna do this. Game has ended. Shoot. Okay. Well. That's that. Alright, bye-bye everyone. Have a great and of course a fantastic day.